I'm Maya. I'm Julia. Hello and welcome back. So today's video is all going to be about hair and like how Julia takes care of her hair, what I asked for when I got my hair done, and stuff all like the that. questions y'all been asking. Basically. Exactly. So Julia's going to take over, so I'm going to go take a walk. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so as y'all can see, my hair is gray at the moment, but I've had different hair colors throughout the year. The girl that does my hair is called Toyi, share Boya on Instagram, and she's our friend and she's amazing. Here's the evolution pics, I guess. Thank you, thank you for trying to be the best you can. Holding on to the rest you I only wash my hair once a week and now that I have very silver hair, I can't use too much silver shampoo, otherwise it, it will get all purple, but what I do is I mix a regular shampoo, basically anything, with my silver shampoo. And the shampoo I use is Fudge Clean Blonde Violet Toning Shampoo. And that is really good. Toji recommended it for me and I've been using it since I started dyeing my hair. So I always start with washing my hair with just shampoo and then I do a second shampooing sesh with silver shampoo mixed with regular. And before when I just had like really ash blonde hair, I used to use only silver shampoo, but right now I don't need it. And that's just to get rid of the brassy yellow tones. And after I've shampooed my hair, I use a color treatment called Goldwell's Dual Senses Color Extra Rich 60 Second Treatment Nourishing. <laughs> Such a mouthful! Um, which is like a leave-in treatment that you have in for one minute. And lastly, I use the fudge conditioner too. I usually let my hair air dry. Sometimes I use blow dryers or like curlers or whatever, but I try to avoid that. And as a daily treatment, I use Moroccan oil for the ends of my hair just to not dry them out. A lot of you guys have been asking what I ask when I want to dye my hair. So I, well now it's like grayish silver and it's a process to get. So it has been a lot of like shades along the way. She started off doing highlights in the beginning. So it has a lot more dimension. Usually ask for a lot of ash tones with gray and the more gray you put in the longer it will last so when I just dyed my hair gray it was really dark but now it has washed off to this color I've bleached it a lot I think for every session I've bleached it like one or two times with toners and also like dyes and she also uses Olaplex be careful because I actually bleached my hair a bit too many times because it actually fell off. If you notice, I started parting my hair to the side because uh, before I only had mid part and that is because I my hair has fallen off here. So this is what happens when, when you bleach your hair too much. So be careful and always listen to your hair stylist when you dye your hair because I basically was like, hey, can you please dye my hair again because I really want a silver and I should have waited a few months before I dyed it again because I, I usually dye my hair or touch up after like two or three months but this was like oh my god I'm gonna go to like this gala like, can you please fix it after like one and a half months so it was kind of like it was very dry and it just snapped so be careful if you have any other questions just leave them down below okay Maya can jump in okay hi guys I'm back so <laughs> I'm gonna talk about my hair obviously it's not as much work as her hair my hair was like light brown sort of dark light brown in the beginning and so what I did was when I first went to Toji and got my hair done I wanted it sort of like ashy ombre and with a little bit of like highlights. Basically, I wanted my own hair color in the top of my hair and then wanted to be lighter in the end. Basically, I wanted something that didn't need that much maintenance. I just got my hair redone. Actually, you guys think it's lighter like a few days ago. So it's basically what I had before, but just lighter. And I also did ask for like a lot of ashiness since I am half Asian. My hair kind of has like sort of red undertones. And I was gonna take care of my hair after. I didn't need to use silver shampoo. Or you didn't use I didn't. I didn't use silver shampoo. I didn't. I just basically just washed my hair like I did before. And I washed my hair twice a week. And from now on, I'm gonna start using silver shampoo because it's lighter and it's more blonde. So I'm gonna try and just, you know, use silver shampoo from now on. And that's it because my, my hair isn't really that complicated as Julia's hair. There isn't really much to it. Yeah. 
And one tip or one thing that I've noticed with my hair is also like I quit using dry shampoo because if I since I only wash my hair once a week, if I have too many products in my hair, it gets really irritated. And the reason that I stopped using dry shampoo is because when I did use dry shampoo, I started touching my hair much more and that also makes it more oily. So basically, I stopped using dry shampoo and I've stopped touching my hair and that's how it does not get oily because like I noticed Maya touches her hair a lot, like a, lot. A, lot, a lot and that's why I guess I think that's why it gets really mm. greasy I mean I saw her we were eating food and she was just like started touching her hair I'm like girl you just ate food why yeah, are you touching exactly. your hair so but I think um, a good alternative to dry shampoo is baby powder actually I put a lot of that into my hair because it sucks up the oil yeah yes but yeah Thank you so much for watching our video and if you liked it yeah and shout out, out to our girl toji exactly we're gonna put all her in all her info in the yeah. description she's below based in on instagram Sweden. so yeah bye bye, bye.